So the game I'm playing today is called Lion. I feel like I've been playing a lot of minimalist puzzle games recently, more often than I normally do. I mean, this is not really something I play all too often on my channel. One thing I did notice is that usually when I am recording a video of this kind of puzzle game, it's usually very late at night. I don't know why, but it almost seems like I never play these kinds of games at any other time of the day other than, like, close to midnight. If you guys are starting to get sick and tired of me playing all of these puzzle games recently, don't worry, this is the last one that I plan on playing for quite some time. But I was drawn to this one in particular because of its premise. I played a game called Mini Metro on my channel a few months ago, and Mini Metro was kind of like a puzzle game, but more like a real-time strategy, where you had to connect different subway stations together, you had to, like, form railroads so that people can get to different stations. You basically had to create your own subway system, and the way you did that was by clicking on circles and dragging a lion and connecting them to other circles, so, it was very minimalistic style. Well, line is kind of similar to that. You're drawing a path through a bunch of shapes. There's a bunch of pre-made levels to complete, but what does make this game interesting is that it does have daily challenges. So this is another one of these games that essentially has an infinite number of puzzles you can complete, because there is technically a procedural generation option in the game in the form of daily challenges. Lion is also, and this is going to shock you, one of the highest rated games on Steam. 96% positive reviews out of over 5,000 user reviews. Which doesn't surprise me in the slightest, because it seems like almost every single puzzle game on Steam has a user score in excess of 95% nowadays. I guess people just enjoy having their minds blown in many strange and wonderful ways. Right, so let's begin then. Click on the giant button that says begin. Okay, that's one way to zoom in. Be connected. That's also a bizarre looking cursor. Yeah, so I click on this, I just drag it through these shapes. Yeah, so I just have to connect them together. Okay. Seems simple enough. Seems simple enough. Oh, it seems like there's also multiple paths I can take, too. Yeah, but the only thing is that I'd have to connect it back the other way, so I don't think I'd be able to do that. But, I mean, I could try it. Yeah, I do know that it also does throw uh, some other shapes into that mix as well. Oh, wait, no. Can I not... Oh wait, I can't... I can't go the other way, actually. Okay, well never mind, I just have to do it like this. I thought that maybe I can turn it around while trying to connect it, but I don't think I can. I could do this, though. Or... Okay, I guess that doesn't work. Okay, never mind, maybe I can't be as creative as I... as I think I can in this game. I can go down like this. The puzzles are probably gonna be very simple at first. Notice everyone. Okay, well I'm gonna- I'm gonna try and notice- and notice everyone here. Oh wait. Are there some of them that I can't actually... Oh, wait a second. No, it's... The ones that have like a white center are the ones that I can click on. Yeah, and the ones that don't have a white center are the ones I have to drag them through. Oh, okay. Alright, I think I see what's happening here. This is kinda clever. Okay, then. Yeah. Alright. I, I, I see what I'm doing here now. I definitely see what I'm doing here. There's still probably another way I can I can connect this, though. Can I? New directions. I mean, like... Okay, well, maybe I could actually do this. Wait. I think I do see what I have to do here. Uh, or, or do I? Yes, I definitely see what I have to do. Bring it diagonally. Form, form the letter Z. Yes, indeed. Drag these diagonally as well. Okay. Again, it seems it seems very simple enough. It does seem like the uh, yeah the level number does also appear at the top of the screen. I wish it would appear a little bit faster though. Uh, that's just me though. There, I can bring it around like that. Bring it around the other way. Very nice indeed. I don't actually know how many levels there are in this game, but I'm not gonna try and beat every single one of them. Uh, I can drag that diagonally. Indeed, I can. Okay, I think I see what I can do here. Drag it diagonally like that. Very good. Be accepting. 
Well, I would I would say I'm I'm a very accepting individual. I support the rights of of every individual on this planet. Everyone deserves equal opportunity. Uh okay, what do I I think I need to move it to the right. Yes. Okay, so it seems like I think what this is telling me is that there needs to be like two lines that go through uh whatever this thing is. I'm trying to think of a term for it, but nothing's coming to mind right now. Okay, and these paths cannot overlap either. Alright. I'll take that into account then. Can I just go through here like that? Yes, I can. Alright, there's two of these now. Oh, wait. I need to... Okay, hang on a second. I can do it like that. But then I'd have to drag it through like this. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I, I see the solution. Again, just drag it diagonally. Okay, then. Uh, let's see. Let's -a see. I think... I think... Okay, yeah, I see it. Up here first. Take care of the top row. Go diagonal, so it goes through that. Bring this over here, like that. Very nice. Okay. Now what do we have? I, I do believe there are more shapes than just this. I do, I do think it throws squares into the mix at some point. So, okay, I think through like this. And then into this one, go diagonally. Oh wait, no, I can't do that because that one doesn't, doesn't line up. Okay, hang on a second. I can just disable all this. Yeah, go through like this actually. That's a better idea. That was a much better idea. Okay, now what? There's only one of these. It does seem like I can go either way. Maybe take this direction? Yeah, sure. Take that direction. And then I think I can move diagonally. So that way the paths don't overlap. It does seem simple enough, but I I hope this gets challenging a little a little later on. I really do hope it does. Uh, hmm. Actually, I have a better idea. Diagonal down, then go right, and then just go straight down. Very good. Very good indeed. Also, we're still on the A levels here. I don't know how, uh, how many A levels there are here exactly. So I'm thinking, diagonal down, go to the left, go through this, like that. And then how am I going to get the, the triangle to go to the other side, though? Uh, hmm. Because I can't do this, because that's in the way. I can't go down like this, because that's also in the way. I can go like this, though. But that's still not going to work. Because that doesn't lead to anywhere. So maybe... Hang on, maybe I can, maybe I can fix this somehow. Maybe I can go the other way instead. Like, maybe this way? And then like that? Well, no, because this is still going to be blocked off. Okay, yeah, but there's still, there's still just, there's still one left over here, right? So I have to bring it, I have to bring it through all of these, don't I? I would, I would think. I can go like that, but then I'd have to go diagonal at some point. Yeah, I'd have to. And go through like that. Uh, oh wait. Hang on a second. There we go. I found the path through that. I think I, I think I was not supposed to block off the top triangle. I think that's what I was doing wrong. Let's see. Through like this. Uh, yeah, I think this, I think this will work. Drag it down like that. And then what am I gonna do about this? Oh wait, I see exactly. I know exactly what I'm gonna do about this. Or do I? No, I think I do, actually. Diagonal, left, then go right, and then up. To complete that path. Uh... Okay. I'm thinking... Yeah. Through like this. Over to here. Go through that thing. Get that activated. The only problem now, though, is that this is blocked off. So that's, that's not going to be able to go anywhere. 
So that might not be good. Well, actually, hang on a second. Could I possibly go here? No, I can't go. I can't go back around, can I? No, I can't. I I actually cannot bring this anywhere. So I can go like that. Yeah, but I need to go. I need to go back around to the to the other side here, though. So I'm. How about over here, like this, perhaps? Yeah, but the only way I can go here is diagonal. So. Okay, so there's gotta be a way I can I can do this that doesn't cause that to get blocked off. Well, wait, no, I can still I can still drag it through that thing though. So I can I can do it like this though. Okay, yeah, but then where would? Yeah, but I'd have I'd have to still get to the other side. Actually, no, I think I do have an opening here now. Yeah, I can just keep going up diagonally. That was it for the A levels though. I got a triangle. What exactly does that mean? I guess that means I, I completed a set? Yeah, okay. I did complete a set. Um, where's the daily challenges thing, though? Is it this right here? No, that's that's for set data. I don't want to do that. Uh, okay. I guess maybe that becomes unlocked to me at some other point, perhaps. Uh, I'll just start with, with number one. Sure, why the heck not? Return. Return it like that, form the letter K. Those also seem like we are forming letters here. Okay, where do I want to return this to, exactly? R return to sender. Oh wait, I see. Just like that. Very nice indeed. Oh my god, there's three of them now? Do I want... Le okay, let me let me think about this here for a moment, because this is, this is where everything's going to start confusing me. Uh... No, see, I can only go in one direction. Okay, so... I have to try and find a way to, like, redirect this through all of them. Oh wait, I did find a way to redirect it through all of them. Like that. Without, e without even thinking. Um, okay, so there's one right here. Could I also go this way too? Yeah, I definitely can. Hmm, uh, well, I mean, I can go back around like that, definitely. Oh, wait, I see. Go diagonal, like, down there. Because that works. That definitely works. Then go through here. There's no other path I could possibly take over this way, so I might not be able to do anything with that. So maybe just like this? Okay, well, actually... No, because I can't go down like that. I could do this, though. Then pull it through there. Oh yeah, it also tells me where where I'm moving the triangle to. Because it, it's attached to my cursor. Uh... I'm... Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I have to, like, pull the blue ones through, through that exact same place as well. So... Actually, how would I... How would I even do that? Because now... This almost seems like it's blocked off. Yeah, I can do it like that, but the only problem is that I have nowhere to, to bring the blue path anywhere. I can bring it over like there, but I still have one left over. Unless... Okay, no, that's that's definitely not going to work. No, that's that, that's definitely not going to work. Okay, maybe there's, there's another path I can take through this. Like, over here. Okay, well, actually, no, because that's that's the end. So I can't do that. I have to keep going up here and pass through this and do that. And just disable this for a moment. Let's see if I can possibly go back. Okay, yeah, I can go back like that, but what if I use this one to go back? Yeah, I can, because then I can just move diagonally towards the final one, the one in the center. Stability. Uh... Jeez, okay, I think I think this is the point where it's it's gonna start getting complicated here. Like this. Like probably. Okay, well I have to I have to find a way to move it back through all of these. Okay. Let me think about this here, because this is the point where the confusion is gonna start to sink in. 
So, I want to think about this for a moment. Okay, maybe it's not diagonal like that. Maybe it's not like a zigzag motion. Maybe it's this way. Well, no, because then I can't... See, that, that works at first, but then I have this line blocking the way, so I can't do that. Uh... Or maybe it is like like this, and then I can just bring it back around. Well, no, I can't do that though, because then there's still there's still this one remaining. Okay, how about? No, I can't do that either. That doesn't work because it's gonna get blocked off. Up this way. I mean, this is this is worth a shot, even though I'm pretty sure this is not going to work at all. Okay, I just got an idea. I can bring it back around like this, because this way it doesn't get blocked off. So maybe... Uh, well, I can't bring it back around like that. So... How would I... How exactly would I... Okay. Maybe, maybe my idea is not as bright as I thought it was. Uh, hang on a second. Yeah, because then there's another line I can bring diagonally. Okay, well that's not what I meant to do. Like, I can- see, I can do that. Then I think I need to do it the other way, though. Well, no, I can't do it like that because it gets blocked off. I can't go around the other way. So... What exactly would I- would I do about this, then? Okay, that's- that's- that's not gonna work. I need to think about this for a moment. Okay, I think I might have found the solution, guys. I'll actually show you it here. Go to the left, go all the way down, then go diagonal up like this. Then go through this one, go to the right, then go to the bottom. As you can see, now they're all activated. And then I just go to the last triangle down below. So, again, I'm overthinking everything as I do in every single puzzle game I play. Okay. Okay, let's think about this one here. Oh god. Because now there needs- there's three of them here. Okay, I can't go down that way. Because that ain't gonna work. Well, I mean, that's- because that's the end, that's why. That's why it's not gonna work. One thing I did find out, going back to uh, the level select screen, is that all of the levels in the B set are available to me from the very beginning, like as soon as I unlock the set. So, I don't actually have to complete these in the intended order. I can just complete all of these out of order if I want. Oh wait, I think I see it. Okay, no, I definitely do not see it. That's that's not the intended solution at all. Unless, no, cuz I'm I'm just I'm just looping it around and I'm not I'm just blocking off all the paths here. I mean, there's the thing that I can do over here. Like that. Okay. Oh wait. Yeah, I just I just like create squares here with within them. I create square paths. Okay, that's I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing here. Um let's see then. So like this perhaps? Yeah, because I can just create like a, a loop right here and it goes somewhere. Okay, but then I'd have to go back around, though. I'd have to bring it through- through there, somehow. But then I have to- I have to loop it around twice in order to do that, though. And there's also that other triangle that I'm missing. Okay, hang on a second. I- I wanna- I wanna restart this here. I wanna exit the level. Yeah, like this. But see, the problem is that I need to loop it through this twice. So... What about... Like that... No, that still wouldn't work. See, because you have those activated... But then it's just that one last one right there. Because I, the, I got the square created... But then it's just a matter of getting this one to loop through twice. So I might have an idea... I might have the right idea, I'm just not going about it correctly. Uh... It, it is kind of funny, though, because it does produce sound effects. I can kind of produce music here if I want. Here we go. I'm pretty sure I found a solution here. Bring it through that, go down diagonally, and then go all the way to the triangle. Okay, here are the squares. Three makes company. Is that even how the saying goes? I have no idea. 
It's too late for me to be thinking about that. Too late for me to be to be thinking critically about anything at all. What I really should be doing is sleeping right now, but anyway. Uh actually I think Yeah, I that's that's very simple. I think I just need to bring this down diagonally. Uh okay, just make sure that I'm not screwing this up, which I do not believe I am. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm not. Contradicting words. Uh Okay, there's wait. Bring it through that first and foremost. Uh no, like this. First of all, yeah, there we go. So now that's been activated. Where do I want to bring the square to? Well, I want to bring the square through this, obviously. Then I think I can just bring the triangle through that. That's simple enough. Uh, I'm probably going to have to bring that square through something. Maybe that, perhaps? Actually, I could bring it through all of those. Yeah, like I can loop it twice, right there. And then I could probably do the same thing. Well, I don't know if I could do the same thing with uh this one like the the white one i mean uh the blue one what am i talking about holy crap i'm i don't know my colors at all um well actually where would i even no i don't think i don't think i can loop it twice i think i have to like maybe loop it just once so that i can at least let one of these guys move through it right like this way? Okay, wait, no. That's not it. Like this, I think. Loop through like that. Just go all the way to there. And then I can just move you through there. Yeah. So that way the paths don't get blocked off, so it's like a, a like a diverter. I think that's that's the, the term I might have been looking for, possibly. I'm not sure if it was or not, but I think I can bring it through there, like this. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I think like this through here. I guess these these levels are going to be a little bit easy because it's like teaching me a new mechanic. Uh, hmm. I think. Oh boy. This might not be what I want to do at all. Uh, is there any other way I can bring this over here? No, actually. I can only move this over here like that. I can't bring that anywhere else, I don't think. No, I cannot. So... This might actually... I could probably bring it through like that, perhaps. Well, I mean, that that is a thing I can do. But I don't think it's what I want to do, though. But it might be what I have to do, because it doesn't seem like I can move it anywhere else. Well, I can- no, I can move it like that, and then bring it through there. Yeah, there we go. Alright, B15. I'll probably just try and complete the rest of the B set here, guys, and then we'll end this video. I don't want to be playing this for- for too much longer. Uh... Thinking here... Okay, where exactly would I want to bring this, actually? I can't bring it over there can move it through here, but then I can't move it anywhere else. So, maybe I actually want to keep you right there. Okay, no. Maybe I have to bring this here first. Actually, no. I can't do that either, because then this square is going to be blocked off. Well, yeah, it would be blocked off. However, I could bring it over here like this. Oh, yeah. And then bring the triangle through the other diverter. Very nice, so that all of them are activated. Yeah, so the game doesn't seem to be that difficult, it just requires a little bit of critical thinking. Just a little bit. Teensy tiny bit. Doesn't make you think too hard about it. Personally, I feel like that's what all- that's what most good puzzle games entail. Like, it makes you think, but not too hard. Because the- the method of solving it is not that cryptic. So, that's the kind of puzzle games I enjoy. Okay. I can... No, I don't think... I don't think this is how I want to do it. I think this is how I want to do it, possibly. Yes, this is definitely how. Uh, wait. Grab this. 
bring it through here like that. There might also be multiple paths I could take to complete these puzzles. These puzzles might even have multiple solutions here. I'm just not thinking about it. Thinking like maybe that. Hang on a second. That is my watch to tell me that it is in fact midnight right now. And I just hit my elbow on my laptop, so that's great. It's always a good sign when I'm starting to hurt myself unintentionally. Oh, just like this. There we go. Right, there's just seven more levels here. I can get through this. I think... Yeah, but the only problem is that I have to bring the triangle through somewhere. I'd have to put the triangle somewhere. Through one of those diverters. Like this, actually. Only problem is that then the square would have nowhere to go. I can't put them back through here, actually, so... Maybe get rid of the triangle. Bring it onto another path. Like... Well, no, I can't bring it onto any other path. Okay, well, what about what about you, then? What other path could I take you on? This? No, because that's still gonna block off the square. I can keep the diamond where it is right now. And then I can... Move the triangle through somewhere. Like that. Yeah, but I can't... I can't do that, though, because then it's gonna... Like, like, the square's gonna be cut off from the... from the other one. But then I can... Okay, well, I can move it through like that, actually. Yeah, see, but then I have nowhere to, to put this, though. That's the only problem. So... What other path could I bring the triangle through? This? Well, no, that's just the same thing I, I did before, didn't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Could make it go through that path. But then the diamond really has nowhere to go after that. Here, I think I got it now. Make the triangle move through there, the diamond move that way, and then move the square through these diverters so it can get to the other side. Right. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. Let's -a keep a going then. Let's -a keep a going. Okay, we're on B19. So we're almost we're almost done here. I'm not even sure what I did here, but I'm pretty sure it's wrong. I just- I just get the feeling when I know it's wrong. Uh... Hmm. Okay, maybe I wanna mess with this first, actually. And then... Well, the only way I can make it push through is like that. But then the only problem after that is that... I have to... Get this one working. Uh... How about you go up that way instead? Well, actually, no, you can't- you can't do that, because then this one's still not gonna be activated. Like that? No, that's still not gonna work. Because this one was already going through this one. Okay. How about... Go through all of these... Like this. No, again, that's- that's what I just did. Okay. Hang on a moment. Is there something else I could possibly do with this over here? No. So there there can't be a line through these two. Otherwise, these guys are not going to be able to get anywhere. Okay, you're not going to be able to get anywhere either, though. That's the only issue. So I don't think you can be going diagonally like that. No, there's, there's no way. But I can, however... Bring the square through like this. Connect to the to the end. Then bring you guys through there like that. There we go. Connect the triangles together. They're together again at last. Uh, this is B20. Okay. Let me think about this. Like this, perhaps. I'm just going to assume. I'm just trying something here. Just hang on a moment. Okay, hang on. I already know that there's there's something off about this. Like, something off about what I'm doing, I mean. Okay, well, I can bring it through like that, but... I want to try and loop it back around like this. So, this line is not going to be able to stay there. I think maybe it can go through like that. Oh, yeah. I, th I think I might see something. Okay, no, I don't see anything because I might have just ended up inadvertently doing what I was doing before. Okay, yeah, third has to be like... Well, I can loop it back through like this, 
But then it's completely blocked off if I do that. Okay, I think I see it now. Through, like, this. Yes, indeed. That way the triangle's not blocked off and I can still pass through the diverters. Right? Just five more to go here. Five more to go. Possibly... Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna try something out here. Maybe go through like that. Go up like this. Yes. Okay, well, only problem... I have to go the, all the way back. So I don't think that's gonna be possible. Yeah, I can move it through like this. To go back that other way. But then it has to hit this too. So... I'm pretty sure there cannot be a lion on this side over here. I'm sorry if you guys can't see where I'm pointing to because I'm not recording my cursor. I never do in my videos. But hopefully you you understand what I'm trying to what I'm trying to show you. Uh not gonna work because that's attached to something. What if I do this instead? Actually, that's yeah, that works, actually. That works. Just fine. Alright. What about... I can pull it through here like this. But the only problem is that then I'd have to... bring that square over to there like that, so... Because the square's on the other side of these three. So what if I do... something with the triangle first? Oh yeah, pull it through like that. Okay, well, no, I can't do that because there's still another square remaining. And then I have to, like, go through again like this. Okay, yeah. I think I found part of the solution, but the only problem is is the one on the diamond side. Because I can only pull through that once. So I have to loop it back around again somehow. And I can't do it like this, because then the square is going to get blocked off by this triangle. So maybe I can do something about the triangle. How about you go... through here... Actually, no. You go through like that. Well, actually, no. That's not going to work either, because the, now you have this to worry about. And that's not going to work, because I need to pull it through the square. I could do that. Yeah, that works. But I need to do something about this freaking square over here. Oh, like this. There we go. I adjust the path of the triangle a little bit. And got through it. Okay. Let's... Maybe try this. Let's just- let's just test something out here. Wait. I- I already know that's wrong. Here. How about... Yeah, like- oh wait, no, no, no. There's- there's one thing I'm missing up here. Okay, I'm not going to be able to pull you through like that because then I have to loop you back around. I can't do it with this one because it already has two loops in it, so I can't go back through that one. Uh, okay. There might be something I have to do with you here. With this, with this square in particular. No, I'm pretty sure that's not going to work. See, that works, but then I'm being blocked by my own path here. And I do believe I found the solution once again. Diamond is going through that diverter on top like that. Square is going through it like this. And I think I can just pull it through like that. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Hang on a second. I messed, I messed something up again. Because there's this one over here. Okay. Now I think I can, I can pull it through, right? Actually, no, I can't because now this one is, is disabled. Because I was pulling it through like this before. But unfor- no, Because that's not gonna work because I have to- I have to take this one into account as well. There we go. There's- there's the amendment I made right there. Now we can continue on. Just two more here. I'm gonna think this. And then think like this. No, I think that already screwed me over actually. What about this right here? Well, actually, no, because then this one, in, this would have to, this has to get to the other side, actually, with this triangle right here. Okay, wait a second. How would the triangle get to the other side? 
Oh, I guess like this, yeah. Okay, that, that works. Like over that way? Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, that was like the easiest one so far. Alright, the final one. Final one right here. I can pull it through like that. Indeed I can. And then... I can go through it like this. The only problem is that this needs to loop more than once. So maybe... I can do something with the square right here. And see, the only problem is that after I get to the... To the other connecting square, I can't pull it through that one, so I can't keep connecting this. But I can do that, though. Oh, that's it. Alright, there's the B set. Give me another triangle, please. Thank you, indeed. Thank you, indeed. We did unlock set C. Okay, we unlock the daily levels now, so you have to complete, like, the first 50. You can access daily levels from the main menu. Thank you for the information. Okay, can you leave the screen, please? Alright. Daily. Okay, so what's the daily challenge for September 14th? You'll find new level sets generated every day. Some days will be more difficult than others. Thursday A and Thursday B. Okay, two complex level sets. Can I just try these out right here? Okay, yeah, they're, they're all like... Okay, yeah. They're all like randomly generated level sets. Uh, okay, wait, no. I, I just want to try this one out very quickly. Just to see how exactly this works. Okay, like that. Alright. How exactly does it does it randomly generate the levels, I wonder? Have to take in, into account all the different paths you can possibly take through these, uh... You know, through these, through these lines right here. Okay, yeah, that doesn't seem too hard. It is just giving me, like, really small puzzles to complete, so these ones are, like, the easiest ones. I think I will just end this one for now, though, because I do believe I am done recording. So that's Lion, just a tiny little puzzle game I wanted to play, just because it reminded me a lot of Mini Metro, how you're, you know, connecting tiny shapes together in order to form paths. It reminds me of that a lot, except it's a little less challenging, because unlike in Mini Metro, there is no risk of failure in this game. It's not possible to lose, but that doesn't mean the game is not challenging. But these are the kinds of puzzle games I like, the ones that don't make you think too hard about the situation at hand, but it still requires you to think critically at some points, because you need to realize, well, which path should I take this shape through? Is it just a matter of going straight horizontally or vertically, or will I have to make some turns, like some left turns or right turns, or even diagonal turns? Are there any paths that are going to overlap each other? Those are the kinds of puzzle games I appreciate the most, and because there are daily challenges, you'll never run out of puzzles to play because there's essentially an infinite number of puzzles. You just come back every day for brand new puzzle sets. Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave this video for now, guys. If you want to purchase Lion, the link is in the description. It's only $3 on Steam. This will be the last puzzle game I record for a while because I feel like I have been playing these a little too often recently. So if you guys are getting sick and tired of these, well, you're getting a break from them for a little while. Also, I really need to make a mental note to myself. Stop recording videos at freaking midnight. It's, it's not good for your sanity. It's almost like I'm trying to drive myself insane. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video I make. Later!